on the spot brings you Christmas Comes Twice. The corner of Portage and Main in Winnipeg is said to be the coldest corner in the world. I don't know if this is true, but I do know it's a cold spot on a January day. I should. I've lived here all my life. My name is Adam Yuzichek. My parents came from a village near Kiev, and they say Winnipeg winters are colder than those in the Ukraine. I come this way every day, going to work and going home. The Christmas is over. It was a hectic time, as usual, with all the rush of shopping and celebration. It lasted until just the other day for me and my family, for all Ukrainian Canadians, in fact. Because for us, Christmas comes twice. Our second Christmas Eve comes on January the 6th. On that day, I dropped in at our cultural center for a few minutes. Professor Yuzik was in the museum with some high school youngsters. This is Russia that someone was asking about. Uh, hello, Adam. Hello, fellow. This map is almost 400 years old. The country is Rush, the old name for Ukraine. To most people, its borders are not familiar. For 300 years, its neighbors have tried to forget that it ever existed as a separate country. The very name Rush was appropriated by the Muscovites. Its name, its history, and its high culture. For the last 300 years, they have tried to make the Ukrainians forget that they were once a great nation, and even forget that they had a language of their own. Here at the Cultural Center, we're gathering and preserving the old maps, books, music, handicrafts, and paintings. Everything which establishes our ancient history and culture. There is every good reason why this should be done here in Winnipeg. Here, we have the largest compact center of Ukrainian population in the world where we have the freedom to do this. As most Canadians do, we spring from two backgrounds, our own life in Canada and the experience of our ancestors. Of course, old curios and costumes are not the whole Ukrainian story. There's the struggle for independence, which has gone on for three centuries. For only a few years in that time was there a free Ukraine, 1917 to 1921. Our feelings of the family and the home. On our Christmas day, we feast and celebrate. I went to a feast held by the Ukrainian Canadian Committee for newly arrived Ukrainians. Professor Yuzik made the address of welcome. God, the dignity of man, and the brotherhood of man. Again, welcome to Canada, to our established Ukrainian-Canadian community, and to a new, and I hope, good life in your new country. Thank you very much. And now, I propose a toast to our people in Europe. Not long ago, since most of us celebrated this day under the difficulties which our friends are still experiencing. We'll bring to the hope that they may soon find themselves free to celebrate as we do here today. Bye, Borja. But freedom will come again. That's what we all hope. We are Canadians through and through, and always will be. But we want to see a free Ukraine for the sake of our kinsmen in the fatherland. It's great. Oh, Merry Christmas, Adam. Christmas, Adam. And the Tatar chief, he told her, remember,